So, uh, back for another baller on a budget deck tech. Got exactly what you need. This time we're going to standard and we're going to win turn four again and again and again. I just threw this together. Thought I'd just call it champ strike. This deck's only going to cost you like 15 bucks. It's ridiculously cheap, but it can be a glass cannon, of course. Let's get into it. We are going to run a playset. A playset is four. We are going to run a playset of Cartouche of Zeal. It's a one drop. Aura. Enchant creature you control. When Cartouche of Zeal enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. Consuming Fervor. We're going to run a total of four of these bad boys. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has at the beginning of your upkeep put a minus one, minus one counter on this creature. We're not going to have to worry about the minus one, minus one counters. We're just focused on getting our creatures big, fast. We're going to run four of those. Also, four thuds. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Thud deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to any target. This is a very shady card. I can't believe they printed uh, Fling, basically, as a one-drop and a sorcery. Amazing. Next up, we have Honed Kopesh. Honed Kopesh is a one-drop. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one. Equip for one. Running four of those as well. Next in line, we got a kitty. Adorned Pouncer. It's a two drop with double strike and eternalize. Probably not ever going to make it around to use that eternalize because we're going to win a lot quicker than that. It is a 1 1, but that double strike is sweet. Three Knight's Pledges. It's a deuce drop. Enchant Creature gets plus two, plus two. Pretty basic. Total of four Champion of the Flames. This is our bread and butter right here. There are other ways to win, and as you will see, we do win with other cards, but this really makes the deck click. Champion of the Flames, a two drop. We're going to run a place out of them. It's got Trample, which is huge. Champion of the Flame gets plus two, plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. Do you see what's going on here? We are going to equip the crap out of this thing and go to Pound Town. Four of them. Four, Frenzied Rage. It is deuce to cast. Another aura. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus one, and has Menace. That's going to help us get that damage through. Same with the Trample. We are running three Talonalia's Crown. Talonali, whatever. Enchanted Creature. It's a deuce drop. When Talonali's Crown enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus zero, and has Trample. It sure does. We are going to run three of those. Next is a Sky Terror. Because it is a Terror in the Sky, it's only a Deuce Drop. It has the Flying. It's got the Menace. These are really cool because not most, most likely your opponent is not going to have Flyers out. At least not two of them by turn three, turn four. So this card can be a little threat and deal a little bit of damage before we actually get to that kill. Next up, Valdok, Keeper of the Flame. We are running only two. It's a three drop. At the beginning of combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached to Valdok, Keeper of the Flame, create a 3 1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. Awesome little, little perks there. We have. Ten planes, nine mountains, four clifftop retreats. Without any more for the BS, let's get right up into this deck. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a heck of a lot of fun. Again, it could be a glass cannon, but man, does this sucker go off. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh, a little bit of spazzing there. Okay, we got the Champion of Flames, got Thud, got some Honed, got the Frenzied, this looks solid. We're going to keep this. Yeah, why would we not? First things first, let's drop a land, and then we're going to put down the Honed. The good thing about that equipment is we can get something down first turn. That's important. Let's see what kind of deck we're up against. What is this? 
All right, this is a good matchup because if he's just running mono green, I mean, he's not going to have any removal. Slap down the base, baby. Champion of the Flame. Can you suck you, little beast, you. Perfect. What kind of crap the heck is that? All right. Well, if that isn't the kettle calling the pot black, I don't know what it is. So, see, it's already a 5 4. Let me slap this on it 8 7. Do something. Down to 12. Can we pull off turn 4? Maybe. <laughs> we gotta make sure we tap this correctly. Oh, yeah, for sure, because we got trampled. That's the beautiful thing about um, our dude here. So now we're going to pump this up even more. 11-10. We'll swing in. He's at 12. When we swing in at our end step, or our second main phase, we'll just thud him. <laughs> Doesn't matter how. Oosh, oosh. He did 7. Good game. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. All right, now we're up against good old cat. I wonder if we can pull this one off with adorned pouncer. Well, we're gonna have to. What is this? I wonder if he's running a similar deck. Get out of here. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, it might just be a race. We'll swing first. Oh my god, it's like a, it's like the same deck. Okay, okay man. You want to play around? Consume that fervor. Nine eight. Uh, we'll see ya. Didn't even have to thud him. Oh my gosh. That was too easy. That was too easy. That was that was cakewalk. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Akagawa. What is that, Shakespeare? All right. Oh, man. Champion of the Flames. We're on a roll here. If you enjoy this little beatdown, if we win this one, you've got to give this video a thumbs up. Unfortunately, we can't do anything turn one, which kind of sucks. I hate that. But it's all right. I mean, there's only we're kind of limited what we can do turn one with the deck we're running here. Champion of Awesome. He's running blue white. I wonder if he's gonna do uh you know, like a Nexus of Fate kind of deck. Oh, 
Okay, there's a third color here. What kind of deck is he running? Board the weather light. Son, you're going to be dead before you find that legendary or artifact card. Dang, I wish we had a one drop in hand because we could have slapped the base twice. Fourteen. So if we get one more, we need one more card. Oh, he just quit. Well, we can almost count that turn three. <laughs> flame oh cartouche great card I'm just happy to see a one drop here Make a giant spectacle out of this Phoenix. So I already got him down to 15. He's running some kind of is it? Is it gonna work? I don't know. Try two cars. Alright. You're gonna have to do better than that, bro. Oh, this is beautiful. Decisions, decisions. And cartoon shit. Oh. We almost had him turn. Turn freaking three. I know it's a lot of people quit on this. Uh, quit against this deck. Yeah. You're you're out, bro. There's nothing you can do. Why would you even do that? How do you have nothing else? You're right. What the heck? Good game. GG.